Whoa, look, there's the machine. Look, she's beautiful. Good afternoon, my friends. Happy Sunday. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we are unboxing something very, very exciting. It's a new sewing machine. I never actually planned to ever have an embroidery machine. A very, very long time ago, when I first started my job at Spotlight, we did brother training, um, so training on brother sewing machines so we could sell them, and we played with a lot of embroidery machines, and I'm like, this is so much fun, but I don't have room or space for it in my life. So, many, 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 many years later, I make a friend in the UK. Her name is Aisha. I talk about her all the time. She's an amazing, amazing person. And she recently bought an embroidery machine and showed me. And I was like, I need one of them in my life. So, hence why we have a beautiful, lovely box here that has an embroidery machine in it. And it's a Disney version machine. So the last time I would have used an embroidery machine like this, it has to have been when I was 18. And that was a very long time ago. Kind of out of my depth, out of my element. So we're going to learn together and just see where this takes us. So the machine that I got is a Brother Enovis NV180D. The D stands for Disney. Um, it just means that it has the Disney designs already pre- programmed into the machine. This is classified as an entry level embroidery machine. I thought I'd start there because one, it was on the cheaper side of like my budget. I am a beginner. I'm only just starting. I just wanted to just sort of get the feel of it and see where it takes me. This machine is limited in the size of embroidery that I can do. It'll only do a four by four inch, which is about 10 centimeters big kind of design so you are kind of limited in that sort of area but at the same time it's a great place to start I think. I have already sort of like opened the box a little bit because I wanted to get the all of the manual stuff out just to have a look and see what I need, what I need to do, how to use it and all that sort of stuff. So it comes with a quick reference guide, big operational man manual, which is for both the embroidery and sewing machine part. Oh, that's what I forgot to mention. This is a normal sewing machine as well as an embroidery machine. So I can do both. Sometimes you can get ones that are just embroidery machines that don't give you the option to switch over to just normal sewing. This one does both. Then the last two books are an embroidery design guide. So that's just all the basic embroidery designs on the machine. And then because this is a Disney version, it comes with a guide of all of the Disney designs on the machine as well. Let's just open it because this has been sitting in my room for like the last two weeks because I've been waiting for bits of it. Um, and now it's all come and we're ready to to open it and have a look. So right at the top we have a little pouch full of all of the different accessories. So we've got like buttonhole foot, oh our little embroidery foot, some oh, pre-wound bobbins. Nice. And just all the other different sort of feet and things. Then I have another little pouch that has uh, some scissors, needles, all of your different little spool caps. We've also got a thread cutter, screwdriver, yeah, lots of fun things in there. Then we've also got our embroidery hoop. So this is the size that comes with the machine and this one is for your 4 by 4 inch designs. We've also got our power cable and our foot control. Here is just a quick peek inside the box. So here we've got the machine. It comes with a hard case and our machine is in there. And then this little thing is our embroidery unit thing that clips onto the side of the machine. So that's exciting. Oh, look at that. It's hefty. It's so heavy. You can take this plastic off and we'll take the cover off and whoa, look, there's the machine. Look, she's beautiful. Oh, how lovely. Ah, oh. nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna try and get it out of the box. Okay, here she comes. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Jeez Louise. All right, this is gonna take 
a little bit more of it. She is heavy. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Put it down. Take the plastic off. Plastic. Let's take this off. There we go. What I love most about the Brother Machines is taking off all of this fun blue tape. Alright, so she's still plugged in. I'm going to turn it on for the first time and see what she looks like. <sighs> Ooh. Cool. Here she is up nice and close. So that's our needle area. So we've got a nice drop in bobbin here. I've got a fancy needle threader. I have one of these on one of my other brother machines. They're great. Our dial's up here. We've got reverse. Um, stop and start when I take the foot out or the foot control out. Needle up, needle down, cuts your thread. And then you can also control the speed of the stitches as well, which is really great. Here's our amazing screen. It looks so good. It's such a detailed screen. Like the definition is really great. And then we've got all of our different buttons. I've got to figure out what all this means. And then a lovely mini and Mickey. On the side, we have our little USB port so we can put in different stitches and stuff. This is our on and off button and then where we put in all of our foot control and power cord. Up the top we have our bobbin winder where we put our spool of thread and then it shows you the different ways to one thread the machine and then how to thread the bobbin as well. We've got our little tension wheel up here. And yeah that's pretty much it. That's the machine. Nice and simple. So I've just touched the screen and a little menu things popped up to select my language. So I'm going to select English. Oh, gosh. It just moved and did a thing. Oh, okay. So this is our basic stitches. And then if we go in here, uh, then we have our menu of all of the different stitches we can do on this machine. So basic stitches are all there. And then you use these buttons here to scroll through them. Wow, there's so many stitches. This is so exciting. It's on here. Oh, some fancy stitches. Wow. Ah, oh, little lady. Oh, there's a bee stitch. Oh, wow, that's cool. A crocodile. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What's in this one? Ooh. Okay, I could be looking at this forever. So what I might do now is turn it off and then pop the embroidery unit bit on and do a little bit of exploring and playing. Before I actually attach anything on first, I'm going to follow the instructions <laughs> because I'm so out of my depth of what I'm doing. I'm gonna follow the instructions of what to do and in what order I should do it so that I don't break anything or destroy it or <laughs> whatever. I don't know, because I don't know what I'm doing. So we need to change the foot first and then we will put the attachment on and then I'll figure out the bobbin and then we'll thread it and then we'll choose a design. I have a couple in mind that I'm going to do. They're only really small ones. I decided for my first time that I'll only do really little ones because one, I am waiting for better threads. I do have a couple here, but they're not like the proper Disney colors and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I just, I just want them to be really simple for my first time, sort of giving it a go. And when I get a little bit more confidence in what I'm doing, we'll tackle the more sort of like intricate patterns that are on the machine. So yeah, let's set this up. I'm excited. I've just quickly popped a bobbin in. This is one of the pre-wound bobbins that came with the machine and you simply just follow the arrows and it is all in there nice and securely. There's also a nice clear diagram of how to do it and then there's also one here as well. So once that's in, you just pop the little plastic cap back on and it's done. And this is one of the reasons why I love Brothers sewing machines. They are just so easy to use. So we take this bit off. This bit goes in here.
I'm going to turn the machine on. And we'll touch that. Ooh. And that one. Cool. Here are our different menu settings. These ones are some of the ones that come with the machine. Just basic flowers and stars, kids patterns. Oh, a birthday cake. That's fun. Oh, some Halloween stuff and Christmas. That's fun. Uh, and then in here we've got some oh more fancier ones. Oh, that teapot is cute. Nice. Uh, we've also got some letters as well. Fancy letters and six other different characters. Got some frames. And then of course we've got the Disney ones. So we've got just, I think this is all just Mickey and Minnie. Oh, we've got Donald and Daisy. Cute. And this one is more the classic design. So we've got Mickey and Minnie. Oh, we've got them together. Uh, yeah, fun. We've got Winnie the Pooh. Oh my gosh. Uh, my inner 12 year old is like quaking. We've got some Disney. We've got Snow White. She's my favorite princess. Oh my gosh, and Tiana. Wow. Alice. We've got some Frozen. And then also Zootopia. And then some cars. We've got, oh, we've got Buzz and Woody. Gotta do that one. And the aliens. Oh, and Sully and Mike. Oh, I'm so excited. So as I mentioned, I am 100% new to all of this. Kind of-ish. So I'm going to just take a moment to prepare some fabric along with some uh, stabilizer on the back. I bought my machine from an Australian company called Echidna Sewing and with this machine it also came with a selection of different bundles and the bundles had choices of different stabilizers, threads and other little bits that you can get. So the bundle that I got with my machine it came with uh, just a packet of basic stabilizers. I also got a pack of very fancy uh, embroidery threads. These are by Hemingworth. It's a brand I've never heard of before but they recommend them uh, and they're very fancy and very expensive. <laughs> and these ones come with like a cap type thing over the spool to stop dust getting into them and just to protect them and stuff. So that is a beautiful pack of 15 colours. I'm not going to break into them today. I'm going to kind of have them as like a special threads <laughs> um, you know just for special occasions you know I do have more threads coming that Aisha recommended to me it's a brand called sim threads and they do really great brother colors because if you get the brother embroidery threads they themselves are very expensive so this is just like a more cheaper version but they still do the same colors that brother does sort of like a dupe type thing you can also use the sulky embroidery threads by Gudeman. we sell them at spotlight and i just happen to have a whole heap of them that i got years and years and years and years ago i think when i don't know maybe we had we were overstocked or something and they were trying to get rid of them really cheap um so i have threads in here that I can use and some of them are actually the same color that the color chart in the guidebooks say so that's brilliant so where was I going with this I can't remember but I'm just going to find some fabric I'm going to use some stabilizer the one that I'm going to use is this one it's called soft away and it just says it's a multi-purpose tear away perfect to stabilize your design when embroidering on woven or stable fabrics and that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to get some homespun just some cotton homespun I pop that on the back of it pop it in my hoop and uh, we'll choose the design and have some fun so I showed you at the start of the video the two embroidery uh, guides that come with the machine this one here is just for all of the basic ones that you get like um, all the frames and the flowers and the letters and stuff like that and then at the back it has a color thread conversion chart so it tells you the colors that brother has then they let you know what color that is in the different other types of threads that are sold on the market so Madeira threads the sulky threads and then you also got RA polyester 
I don't know what they are. But the Madeira and the Silky Threads are readily available in Australia. And then there's also the Sim Threads that Aisha recommended to me. And then in the Disney Guide, it shows you all of the different uh, designs that come with the machine. And then it also has the colour guides uh, that you need to use to make sure the design that you're making looks legit you know so because I'm kind of limited with the color threads that I have at the moment I'm only going to do one that has just one color <laughs> it also just means I don't have to change threads and stuff like that because I'm not ready for that yet so I've decided to do just the little plain Mickey Mouse here this little fella here it only has one thread and it only goes for three minutes so I might even be able to do like a time lapse for you yeah that'll be fun okay that sounds great so I'm gonna find some fabric Pop some tear away on, pop it on the hoop, following the instructions, of course, <laughs> in the manual. And uh, we'll see how this baby goes. The machine is all set up and ready to go. I've done the hoop, the bobbin's good, the foot is good. I've also threaded the machine with some sulky thread. And now we're just gonna choose a design. So obviously doing a Disney one first. And I'm gonna go in, I think it's in this one. No, it's in the next one, this one. So we're doing this little Mickey here. He's only very tiny, I think that means how big he is. Not very big at all. So in the book and also on the machine as well, it says to do it in a red thread and it gives you a particular number as well. So that's what he'll look like. Um, he's supposed to be red, um, but I'm choosing to do it in this gold here. So we'll see what it looks like. I really should read the instructions because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. He's ready to go. As far as I know, I just gotta press start, I think. Let me just check the instructions. Oh my gosh, and she's off. Wow, go for it, love. All right, I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and we'll see how this turns out. gosh it really is small pleasures all right so I've just got the thread using the little snippies here I'm not sure whether I should have done that but I did it anyway I'm just gonna have to move you back a little bit the foot is up and as far as I know I push that and it should come off maybe up oh, okay there we go okay we got it here she comes Wow, and look, there's our very first machine embroidery thing. I'll have to cut all of these threads with my fancy scissors. But, oh my gosh, that looks so good. And there is the back version. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. Decent. That looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, I love it. There we are. That looks awesome. I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm totally inspired to do another one. I was going to do another one anyway. It's only going to be another smaller one using the same thread. This is actually the correct thread colour for this design. I'm going to do just this little Tinkerbell one and it only goes for two minutes so it'll just be another nice little lovely time lapse. I'm not going to move anything in the frame. I'm just going to try and move it on the machine so I can sew it up in this little corner here. I will just double check it. I'm sure that there's a little function on here where you can check just the perimeter of where it's going to sew. So I might just check that. So here on the screen this is sort of like our area where we embroider. Mickey is about here and I put Tinkerbell up in this corner here. So if I press this little button here it should show me here the area that it will stitch. <laughs> It's going to 
like I'm a little bit close to Mickey, so I might just move her up a little bit more. So I can do this, and as I'm doing it, the machine is moving. So we might try and put her like almost right up in that corner. Up a little bit more. And now let's see where that's going to be. That's better. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. All right, we press OK and we'll go embroider. And she's ready to go. So on the screen, it tells me the color to use. So 328 is the brother color. And then with the color chart that I showed, you can see the other colors in different brands. That is pretty much exactly the same as that. It tells you the foot, how many stitches are in this pattern and how long it will take. And then the amount of threads that you've got to go. Our two little designs they are so sweet I'm so happy with them so that's all I'm going to do today until I get more of my threads in the sim threads that I mentioned they should be coming sometime this week but when they come in I'm going to then try some of the more intricate designs that have a couple more different threads I'm excited to try them out I think they're gonna look really really great but yeah I am so happy with this purchase it's something new another sort of path to kind of go down and explore I love embroidery I love doing hand embroidery now machine embroidery is just a whole other new thing to to explore and to to get excited about I never thought I would get an embroidery machine but I think the combination of uh, Aisha showing me her wonderful machine and being all like, oh my gosh, it's amazing, I want that too, to still being in lockdown while I'm currently filming this. Sydney is in lockdown. I think we're going into week 13, I think. I don't know, I've lost count. But I think just, yeah, just <laughs> being a little bit bored at home and needing something else to do, something new, something fun, I think that's a... <laughs> another reason why this is a new thing and I'm very excited to share it with you if you are a machine embroidery person and you've got any tips for me then please let me know let me know what favorite threads you like to use as well as like stabilizers and things like that what are the things that you best like making I'm so up for suggestions and ideas and inspiration because I really want to explore this a little bit more and yeah really have fun with it so that's it for today. I will definitely show you more as my threads come in and we explore more with the machine. But thanks for coming over and watching. I hope I've inspired you in some way or have given you the information that you're after or I don't know have just sort of sparked the interest like Aisha did for me. But thanks so much for watching and I will see you all again very very soon. Bye bye!